Okay, we're going to get started. We're here at uh, TechCrunch Disrupt 2018 at the Constellation Labs booth. We're here with my friend from Ambrosis. Ambrosis, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. correct. Yeah. Maybe give us an intro of your name and your location and then what your company does. Sh sure. Uh, my, name is, yeah. Uh, yeah. my name is uh, Rado, Rado Dragov. I'm a business developer for Ambrosis. Uh, it's a Swiss company, blockchain company, and we combine our scalable blockchain platform with uh, custom-made IoT devices to track uh, products across the supply chain and guarantee their origin, authenticity, and quality. So if you want to know if the product you purchase is, of, uh, is organic, it has the proper certificates, it was sourced in a proper way, then you use our system. We currently work in two industries, the food and the pharmaceutical industry. Wow, that's fantastic. That's a space that definitely is perfectly suited for blockchain. I mean, that's the, you know, the yeah. verifying and the, you know, the immutable distributed ledger technology, making sure that all that yeah. stuff is sound. Got to imagine a lot of people are going to be excited about it. What is your sentiment or what do you feel about the blockchain space and how people at this conference are, uh, you know, absorbing what you're, you're positioning? Sure. I, I think people are more and more realizing the blockchain goes beyond Bitcoin and goes beyond cryptocurrencies. And you see so many different applications of blockchain for enterprises, uh, things that go beyond the cryptocurrency. And I think when the wider public dissociate these two things, cryptocurrency with blockchain, and sees the benefits of the underlying technology, then I think there will be another, another boom in new companies coming up with innovative solutions. So I think the, the technology is a, is a game changer, but it will still take a while until it, it trickles down and, uh, and until we get the killer app applications of the technology. Totally agree. We're hearing the same thing. People are starting to focus a little bit more on the technology versus yeah. the, the crypto side. That may be because we're in a bear market right maybe, now. That has something to do with it. Uh, but, but it's always like that, even in the dot-com bo uh, boom or bust, uh, there was irrational exuberance, uh, to borrow a term from Alan Greenspan. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes irrational exuberance creates so much investment and so much enthusiasm that even if a large percentage of these companies fails, you know, your pets.com fail, you still got a couple of companies that, you know, rise up. Amazon, Google, um, uh, a bunch of other companies who, who, who came from that and they now run the world pretty right. much. So I think in uh, in blockchains, it will be kind of a similar situation. Yes, there is sometimes irrational exuberance, but the technology is revolutionary. The use cases are great. So in the medium and longer run, yeah, the technology will succeed and uh, some companies will rise up. To I love it. Of. So Ambrosis, let's talk a little bit, just a uh, quick, quick question on it. When we're talking about food and farm, pharmaceuticals, yeah. what do you feel has the biggest uh, opportunity in those spaces, the biggest to gain? Is there a category that you're seeing like, you know, alcohol uh, tracking yeah. or is it uh, stuff that has to do with, you know, pain meds or, you know, what are your thoughts? Yes, uh, both, both industries uh, have tremendous potential and that's why we started uh, uh, with these two industries because our solution can be applied to other products. For, for the food industry specifically, it could be, it, you usually start with high grade premium products, usually uh, raw ingredients that you can, you can trace back because there's rampant fraud in the food industry and you want to demonstrate that what you're actually selling is not only of good quality, it's actually, it is what you say it is. And I can quickly give an example with a recent pilot that we did is vanilla bean traceability. Uh, vanilla is really expensive, uh, $700 uh, per kilo. So once the customers of this company you work with learn that they can trace the product back, they pre-ordered all of the all of the vanilla they could supply. So so at this point, it's usually premium uh, premium uh, raw ingredients that can uh, that yield a huge return. But we also see a lot of application uh, in uh, olive oil because there's a lot. Most of the olive oil is uh, fraudulent or is mixed with somebody else. We see huge application for uh, in meat production. This is on the food uh, food side of things. In the pharmaceutical, uh, there's a lot of a lot of regulation uh, surrounding ingredients, so companies should know where the, they should have. 100% sure where the ingredient comes from. There's a lot of documentation right now, but they are not sure of the quality. And if something goes wrong with a medicine, 
then it's actually the the pharmaceutical company that's uh, on the line. It's not it's not people who supply the ingredients. It's not the logistical company right. that. Uh, uh, so these are kind of the killer apps, and the final one I would mention is uh, in terms of logistics, just shipping the products. Many companies, I would say all of them in the food and pharmaceutical, they worry of, that the products are not stored in the proper conditions. And once again, if this product, whether it's pharmaceutical food product, is not refrigerated, it's not going to be the logistic provider that's uh, going to be damaged. Right. It's going to be the producer. So. If you have superior traceability, if you know the storage conditions in real time and that information is immutable, then you can quickly deal with bad actors right. in your supply chain. And then you can add smart contracts on top of that, which will uh, really make things interesting because automate your relationship with a logistic company. If the temperature goes outside that range, I want a 50% rebate. I want you to return my shipment. So, it's, uh, so there are many innovative solutions uh, to today's problems. I love it. Thanks for sharing those use cases. That makes a ton of sense. So as we wrap up, where can people find out about your company? Uh, please go to ambrosis.com. Uh, go to Telegram. We have a, a bunch of uh, channels at uh, Ambrosis, Ch Ambrosis Chat, for example. Follow us on Twitter. Just search Ambrosis. Follow us on Reddit. Again, search Just think Ambrosis. Ambrosis. It's a pretty, uh, pretty unique name, though the name itself comes, uh, comes from Greek uh, mythology. Ambrosia was the food of the gods. Ah. And kind of... Uh, uh, all our branding of uh, master nodes that we um, we provide is surrounds surrounds Greek mythology. So it's a uh, it's a pretty pretty cool way to brand. It's very it. cool. It's probably one of the most beautiful websites I've ever seen. So it's worth checking so, out. Yeah, so, yeah Ambrosis.com. And so thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, we'll see you on the floor. Yeah.